Hi everybody, Pastor Paul here, and I'm going to talk today about taste. You all know what taste is, right? Taste is what food does in your mouth. It tastes like something. Candy is a sweet taste. Salt is a salty taste. There's lots of different kind of tastes out there. And uh, some of those tastes we like, and some of those tastes maybe we don't like very much. For example, how about this? Pizza, right? I love pizza. I especially like pizza that has sausage on it and pepperonis and cheese. That's all wonderful stuff for me, and I love that kind of pizza. But some people like to put peppers on their pizzas or black olives on their pizzas. And I don't really care for pepple, peppers or black olives. So, you know, I will eat this pizza all day, but if you give me that kind of pizza with peppers or black olives, I try to be polite and say, thank you, not today, something like that. How about this? This is cookie dough, and I love cookie dough. I'm not gonna eat it in front of you, but boy, it's pretty hard not to sit right here on the spoon in front of me. And this is something that it tastes sweet, but it has other kinds of taste in with it too. And whether you eat it this way or whether you uh, put it in an oven and bake it into a cookie, it tastes wonderful. How many of you have ever tasted one of these? You know what this is? Yep, it's an onion. And onions have a very strong taste, and some people really like the taste of onion. But for most uses, it's just too strong to eat by itself. And so what we do is we chop or slice onions up and put it in other things. And then the onion makes other things taste better, even if the onion itself kind of tastes kind of strong about things. Taste is good in life. It's fun to taste things that taste good, and we enjoy eating things that taste good. And one of the Psalms, the psalmist says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Can you imagine tasting the Lord? When he says the Lord, he means God. Do you think we ever taste God? Well, there is one way that we do taste God in our churches, and that is through communion. In communion, there's bread, a little tiny piece, and there's wine, a little tiny bit, and they both we eat the bread and we drink the wine and they each have their own different taste, but they are both good. And they are good not just because there's a different combination of sweet and sour and uh, all those kinds of things with it. They're good because they're God. God comes to us through the bread and wine of communion. And I know most of you are kind of too little to take communion yet, but someday when you do, you will know that God is coming to you by that thing you put in your mouth. Taste and see that God is good, and God makes us stronger and better and good too. Let's say a prayer together. We thank you, God, for giving us good things to eat and things that taste wonderful. We help you, ask you to come to us and make us stronger and make us always know that you are part of our lives and you make us stronger, that good food makes us stronger too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It was nice talking with you, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.